in a faraway land, there was a magic kingdom that prospered through its commitment to two simple ideals, duty and devotion, the two Ds. For many years, the kingdom stood as a shining beacon for artisans, craftsmen, and storytellers who all flocked to the land with a dream to uphold the sacred two Ds. Through their hard work, a glorious golden age came to the kingdom, followed by a second, even greater than the first. Then came the dark times. The kingdom fell into the hands of an evil sultan, and through his negligence, the kingdom fell to ruin. <sighs> the happiest place on earth became the crappiest place on earth. Despite the efforts of one man, a man with a dream, to restore the kingdom to its former glory and to bring about the prophesied third golden age. A misunderstood man. This is his story. The untold story of a royal vizier. Boy, 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 toy. boy toy. Anyway, honey, your nipple's hanging out. <laughs> Like, sometimes I see those girls who've only been slaving for like a couple years, and it's like, I just want to be like, hey girl, why don't you take that twerking or whatever it is you call it over to Gardella the Hut? You know, honey, this is never gonna happen. <laughs> you see, Jamila, when I came into power, it was a much more chaotic time. To keep order, I may have said a few things that uh, weren't entirely true. Like what? Oh, okay. Um, well, you know that duck we worship? <laughs> How could I not? It created the heavens and the earth in seven quacks. It made us all in forms that are perfect and also inherently sinful and filthy. <laughs> right, right. And through its infinite love, it will destroy us all if we don't obey. What are you getting at, Mulag? <laughs> uh, that's all bullshit. What? <laughs> I made it up to scare people into doing what I wanted. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right. Come on, think about it, Jamila. Isn't it a bit coincidental that the all-powerful creator of the universe just so happens to be living in a watering hole closest to our cave? No, it picked our pond to honor our tribe above all others. I mean, it's like you always said, Molog, we're the best. <laughs> Fuck, that's our tribe motto. We're the best. Oh, that's probably the biggest fib I told. What? <laughs> Ooh, the world was not made with us in mind. <laughs> and we aren't preferred by a duck. <sighs> Honestly, if I think about it, the ducks probably hate us most of all. Because <laughs> we keep capturing them. <laughs> I mean, surely you've noticed that the holy duck changes color every week or two. <laughs> oh, it's not magic. <laughs> it's just the damn things keep dying and flying off on me. <laughs> And I gotta go wrangle up another one. It's the whole thing. Oh, Molog. I feel like everything you have told me my entire life is a lie. I mean, next you're gonna tell me that Tiblin isn't really holding up the sky. Okay, well, she... She's not? Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm not doing what? It's pretty tough to get enslaved by Jabba, but I'm like, you know, I got this. You know what I'm saying, boys? <laughs> you guys want to buy me a drink later? You guys all of you? One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. <laughs> see you then. Did you see my husband, Clark? <laughs> he is an Adonis. Wow. If I had a nickel for every time I was doomed by a puppet, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? You look hot! Well, I may look different, but you all should just treat me like the same old Hermione you know and love. And that goes for all of you, too. Mega girl, what'd you do that for? It was necessary to ensure 100% success of my primary directive to kill all humans. Mega girl, what about us? There is no us. I am merely an empty vessel, a hollow parody of that which you consider alive, unable to truly feel. The closest approximation to a feeling that I possess is the synthetic rage that hums through my circuitry at my godless human creators. How could you make me so like you, and yet 
So unlike you. This is not true, Mega Girl. You and me, we's the same. That statement is so incorrect, I am unable to produce a logical response. All that is left is for you to die. Tootsie Noodles. That's not my name! I changed my name to Tootsie Mega Girl. <laughs> because where I come from, Farm Planet, your first name is what you do, and your second name is what you love. You could love me, even though I am a robot, even though I am not real. Oh, real? The feeling I get when I'm close to you, when all my hair stand up, that's real. Oh, oh and the fuzzy giggles I get in my noggin when you're talking about killing things. Ah, oh, shit, girl, that's real. Oh, oh mega girl. I, I'd love you if you was the horse that ate my cousin. Downloading new emotion. Download complete. This emotion was downloaded from the interweb and could have viruses. Are you sure you want to open it? I do! I do! <laughs> new emotion installation complete. It is love. It is love! I love you, Tootsie Mega Girl! <laughs> Oh, Mega Girl, don't cry. Your pretty makeup is running. Mm. You two, go help the others. I'll save lives around the corner. Okay, Spicks. Mega Girl, let's go and save her. Toy! No! Toy! Great debate has gone on for far too long. It is time we put an end to it once and for all. Chorn, for many moons now, you have said the word Chorn because that's all you can say. Chorn. Yes, Chorn. And you, however you have chosen to interpret the word Chorn, You've decided to respond by saying no. You're oversimplifying my argument, but that's essentially what I'm saying, okay. yeah. Okay. What if we tried looking at it from a different point of view? What if when Chorn says Chorn, instead of saying no, you said yes? Mm. I honestly had never thought of that before. Okay, all right. You want to give it a try? Uh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Chorn, you got this. Chorn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, the great debate is finally over. Yeah. Oh, you did it, Jamila. Ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs, hogs and frogs, I'm a man with two heads. That's right, Tom. We're here at the pod racing event of the year, the Boonta Eve Classic. That's right, Tom. And everyone's looking forward to the grudge match between the pod racing champ, Subulba, and the XXX former champ, Annie. Personally, I've got no money on this way past his prime razor, but hey, I've been wrong before. In fact, one of my heads always tells the truth and one of us always lies. That's right, Tom. <laughs> So, earlier today, some um, very important truths were revealed to me. <laughs> so it turns out our tribe has been living under some false pretenses, which have caused some of its members to, uh, ooh, how do I put this lightly, um, waste their entire lives. Wow. Huge slam on Emberly out of nowhere, holy shit. <laughs> Um, actually, Emberly does a job that's actually very, very important to our tribe. 
But once we clear a few things up, we can all stop performing meaningless tasks and focus on real human progress. Progress pleases the duck. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Ducker. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you brought up the duck. Oh, uh, yes. So, you know how it created the universe? It created the universe. And how it watches over all of our immortal souls. Each and every one of our immortal souls. He is Lord. Oh, uh, Ducker. Duck is Lord. He is Lord, Lord, Lord. Duck is Lord. Thank you, Ducker. Look he is Lord. Duck is Lord. What the fuck? Remind me how she answers when he asks her for her hand. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> one night and then one night with you is not enough to spend. So let's make ours a story with no end. So let's make ours a story with no end.